Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to compare the Ceramonic microphone to the Cinco microphone. And Beans is going to help me do that. Starting off, the obvious difference between these two is the Ceramonic comes with four, where the Cinco comes with two. Okay, so let's get into the videos where I'm testing these out. I do three tests of my camera microphone, the Ceramonic microphone, and the Cinco microphone. The first test I do with my dog, so here's that clip. Ceramonic picked up her nail clicks better and I, I just think the sounds coming from the Ceramonic were the loudest compared to the others. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. This next test is inside. I have my TV on. The volume's pretty low and then I use the microphone and I use it without the microphone. So here's those clips. All right, this is the Ceramonic microphone. I've got the TV on behind me, and this is just holding the mic near my face. All right, this is the Ceramonic microphone. TV's on behind the camera. And um, Beans, do you have anything to say? You want to tell them about the, uh, the thing? This is no microphones. I have the TV on behind the camera and I've got no microphones hooked up. This is just the camera mic. I think it, both of them sounded fine. I do feel like the Ceramonic, when you hold it up close to your mouth, it sounds a lot better than just being mic'd up. Okay, in this third clip, I'm outside, there's a train, and there's wind. So you have all those sounds. So here's that clip. All right, this is a Ceramonic mic test. I'm outside, it's windy, and there's a train behind me. Um, so trying to stand in all directions so you can get the wind picked up. This is with the mic. This is without the mic. Just holding the mic of the Ceramonic. Test, test. Alright, this is no microphone. Got the train behind me. Windy. And um, I'm turning in all directions. 
Okay, so the camera microphone in that clearly was the worst. I feel like the Cinco did a better job at blocking the wind than the Ceremonic. I could hear less wind noise when I was using the Cinco. They both did a good job at drowning out the train noise and muffing the wind sounds. When I took the microphone off of these, you could hear the wind a lot more. This is the Cinco G1A1 or G2A2. You have your receiver and your two transmitters. The sound is good, the case is good, and the price is good for this. You can get this for $100. Whereas the Ceremonic, it has four transmitters and one receiver, and then it comes with a bunch of cords. Now the cords, I really like them because it comes with a variety of them. Like this one is for the camera and the microphone and everything is labeled really well. It will have a picture of what end goes in the camera and what end goes in the microphone. And I have switched these and it doesn't work. It won't relay to the computer. So I was really confused why the sound wasn't working and then I switched the cord and then it worked. And then it also comes with a cord for your smartphone. So if you wanna have a microphone for your camera, it has that capability. This is me testing my phone audio. And now I have the microphone hooked up to my iPhone. So this is the microphone test. And then it comes with the four mics for each microphone and it comes with a microphone that goes straight to the camera. And then it has this nice deep pocket to store all your cords, which I really like. The price of this is $99. The price of this is $350. So if you're on a budget and you just want a good pair of microphones, go with the Cinco. If you wanna do like more podcasting or like skits and you wanna involve more people, get a four channel microphone system I like this Ceremonic one. There's lots of microphone systems out there. I just had access to these two, so I wanted to compare them. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll respond to them. Hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching. Bye.